Hello, this is Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to set a work offset on a CNC lathe. Let's see how that's done. All right, we're going to start off selecting MDI mode. I'm going to bring up the program screen. I'm going to key in T0101 in the block, insert, and cycle start. That brings up tool number one with offset one, very important step. Then we select manual mode, and then we're going to use X and Z to bring your tool close to the face of the part, which has been machined flat. So we manually bring the tip of that tool close to the face. I'm going to use a piece of paper, and we're going to wiggle it back and forth until that insert grabs a piece of paper and then you're within a thousandth of that face. So then we're going to select the offset page. Then we're going to select the work offset screen. Then we're going to set the position in G54. We're going to highlight the Z axis. Then we're going to select Z, 0, measure. Now watch it update that number. Now at this point the machine knows where the tip of that tool is in relation to the face of that part. And it has stored that location in G54. So that is how a work offset is set. And it works the same way for G55, G56, all the way through G59. All right, I would like to point out that on the same page where you see the G54 through G59, you will also see the common. And any value that you enter in the common will affect all work offsets, G54 through G59. So make sure that first of all, those are set to zero. And if you do put a value in there, it will affect all work offsets. I just wanted to add that note real quick. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.